Hi everyone, it's Tanya here, otherwise known as Tartan Taz. This is a small real-time tutorial for one of my followers, Dotty Jin. Hi Dotty Jin. Uh, she asked me for a tutorial on how I drew a, a girl in a specific video. I will put the link to the video up here and if you're interested you can go and have a look. So what I'm going to do is a quick sketch uh, and um, talk you through what I am doing. So let's get started. I'm going to use this Whispers uh, pen. I don't think that they're available anymore. This was one that I got um, probably about 10 years ago now uh, in my scrapbooking days. So there are two ends to this, the brush end and the fine tip end. And I am going to use the fine tip end. So first of all, I am going to start off with drawing the head. Now this is not going to be done precisely. Um, I'm really not that fussed about being precise because I know that I'm going to probably change it anyway. Okay, so there's a, a rough rough head. Okay. Now you can draw the lines in. I'm going to do a front facing. You can draw the lines in. So you would draw one right down the middle and you would draw one right across the middle. Um, where it intersects is the middle point of the face and This is where the eyes are going to go. You would then draw another line. Now I think that's a little bit too far up. So I'm going to do it here. And then there's going to be another one here. And another one here, which is the, that looks off. So we've got one here, we've got one here and one here. That's looking a bit better. So we've got it evenly. So we've got half, quarter, quarter. It's not quite even, but it's a stylized girl, so I'm not that fast. So I'm just putting two dots for the eyes and then trying to to just get at least a, a rough idea of the width of the eye because the width of the eye is going to be the width of the nose and that's roughly correct. So just going to draw in the eyes. Now you can do this lots of different ways. Um, what I've found I've started doing is doing in the upper arch and then adding in the um, pupil. So I'm going to have her looking slightly that direction. And then I'm going to put the, the lower now, just because of just the style of this, I'm not going to worry about the specific um, details. Um, now, I think given the, the width of this face, uh, it is actually a bit, the width of the eye, sorry, this is a, a bit too wide a face. So I'm just going to bring that in slightly and you'll see how I can fix that with 
with the hair. So there's her neck. I'm doing stylized girl, so therefore it's a little bit thinner. Normally the your neck would start coming from here because it's usually that's where your, your ears are. Um they'd kind of start here and they would be around about there. So in line with the, the eyes, bringing it out and just about there. In fact, that's it would probably be more there. There we go. So you see, it's so easy to just change. Okay, so the nose, specifically for Gina, um, let me just zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so the nose. I usually start with brackets. They're usually in line with the edge. the eyes and then I do a kind of an eyelet sort of shape and that's where the nostrils go the holes of the nostrils and I bring this line round and in to the under side of that Okay. The lips normally do like a kind of a slight L, backwards L here, um, because the, the dip, you can do the, the full circle, um, well it's not a circle, it's a U, a thin U. Um, I tend not to, but um, you can do um, both. And essentially this part here is where your lip is actually going to start. So it's going to curve around and there's the, the middle and again there's going to be that slight curve there and depending on whether you bring the the lips up or not will determine what sort of expression your girl has and I've started just doing just a line under here just to mark where the, the bottom lip actually is and I'm just putting in a little bit of shading I'm going to use a water pen um, okay so that's as you can see I've thinned that face down now for the hair I'm just going to do a traditional side parting just to make it easier and I'm I think I might keep the ear in actually. So the hair. Is going to. Go. I'm just going to put in where. I think our shoulders are going to. To be. So that I can get the. Hair flowing. down over the shoulders. A lot of my girls have been OK. 
okay. And that's going to be darker because that's the back of the hair. putting a little bit of pen in there. I think I'll maybe make her eyes just a little bit bigger. And there you go. There you have it. That's how to draw a face. I'm going to put a little bit of pen here because this is where I'm going to put a little bit of shadowing. So there's our eyebrows. And this mark here is going to end up being a little bit of shadowing. bring it around here because there's the little ball of her nose and there you go there is a very quick and easy get off very loose very simple girl. And then I'm going to get my brush, a little bit of water, and I'm now going to activate the ink. It's a really nice colour, that, I like that. Just always remembering add more as you need to. Probably could have done with using a, a larger brush, but You live and learn. Just taking out those lines. don't actually have to take them all out, you could keep some of them in if you wanted to. Um, there you go. The, the hair. Now I'm just going to just activate that little bit in there and just do the same on the other side but without taking the ear out. using in the ink just kind of 
using it to, to shadow. So activating that top part of the eye, activating the bottom part and then in the the pupils. Oops. Didn't mean to go down quite as far as that, so I'm gonna go and do the lip. There we go. As I said, there's a, a bit of a, a dip here. And there's her. Chin. So just keep eye on the water. The problem is with this particular pen, I think it um, once it's activated and dried, I don't think it reactivates again. Um, so make sure you've got what you want the first time round. So I think we'll maybe do this side as more shadowed so the lights coming in from this side and yeah as you can see it's not activating again so just doing a bit more a little bit of colour there. So I'll activate this down here. Because this is this is the underside of the nose, so this is going to be in shadow. And I'll just take that line out. Uh, I'll just seeing if I can and if you do manage to end up with stuff that isn't actually allowing you to highlight that's okay because you can simply get a white pen and put them back in there is nothing that cannot be fixed. So I'm now going to just activate this top part of the eye again. And activate this bottom part and just spread the ink just a little bit so that I've got no harsh lines. Although I do have harsh lines on this side but to be perfect. So there you have it. So thanks for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video as much as I have enjoyed making it. I hope that I have given you something to think about, something perhaps to try. If you enjoyed what you saw then please give me a thumbs up share the video and if you want to see more if you haven't already done so why don't you subscribe so thanks again cheers everybody take care bye for now